Wait for it. Wait for it. It's not coming. <laughs> Bay FM 100.3, welcome along to Bay Health. In the studio with me, I've got Madonna Guy and also I've got Monica and we're talking about Monica's health and how listening to the radio helped her. Maybe it can help you. Absolutely. Yeah. So another part of Monica's history that she's very brave to chat about was an abuse of upbringing and mm-hmm. then an abuse of marriage. Okay, so she's in that cycle. In that cycle of post-traumatic stress. So ha- before you found you know, help, how were you feeling on a day-by-day basis? Well, really I didn't know that there was anything wrong. I thought every family was exactly yes, the same. Right. So yeah. I did not know until um, till my husband walked out. Wow. And I thought, oh, wow. I cried for four days, but mm-hmm. I thought... I'm free, you know, and... So you actually did have that relief relief, fairly quickly. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So um, I'm a different person, even people that knew us together. So, you know, I'm such a different person now. But, you know, I'd seen it with my parents, so... You thought that was normal. So it's normal. Yeah. Yeah. That's really tragic in itself, isn't it? Absolutely. There's so much, We, you know, I think with this whole why me, no, not why me, yes me. Me too. Me too. The me too, <laughs> the me too women out there who are at least getting this being discussed, and I know it's always been around, yeah. but it is time for women to be putting down, you know, their foot and going, no, yeah, no more. That's right. So, so when you were in that marriage with that abuse going on, what was the sort of things that you felt on a daily basis? Like, even though it was normal... What did you feel? Well, it was all verbal abuse. There was no hitting because I would not have stayed there for that reason because I'd seen that with my... And he knew that you wouldn't tolerate physical? Right. Because he put his hand up once. So that was your boundary. That was was it. Right. Um, But I could never do anything well enough and, you know... What was he like in the beginning? Because this is important. In the beginning, when you were dating or whatever... He was such a lovely man. Exactly. And They're already, always charming, aren't this, they? I had the yes. same thing. And the, what happens is the moment they think they've got you, it yeah. goes down to hell in a handbasket. And because this guy pursued me, pursued me, pursued me, and then when we had me, about six months after we moved in together, it was like I was going out with the devil. Mine was six weeks. My <gasps> mother said to me, he's not the guy you married. And no. I said, no, I've got a ring on my finger now. Mm-hmm. And from that time on... You know, I was under the thumb. Um, now, how did yeah. you how did you help Monica with her uh, post traumatic stress disorder? Well, this is where the natural therapies really comes in. So, because once again, because can I say the medication you're yeah. on? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she was on Valium for a long time. Yeah. So you Just know, we're basically everything. numbing. Yeah. You know, yeah. numbing the emotions on a daily basis, and how and I think it's one in four women in Australia are on antidepressants. Mm-hmm. So you know, we're over forty. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is a massive number of people out there that obviously have something going on in their world that they're not coping with. So natural therapies, there's several things going on. There's supplements that help to tone the nerves, that help to make it easier to cope with stress before falling apart. Yes. The, the, the stress threshold, according to a, a lot of scientific experience in uh, the medical field, yes. which is uh, Western medicine, um, we're the most stressed out that the humans have ever been. Yes. The most stressed. Yes. There's, there's a 100-year study, and I, people will have probably heard this before, but there's a 100-year study that they've done in America simply by doing the census every 10 yes. years. So now it's 100 years old. 11 censuses have been done, and people are getting less resilient by yes. 10% yes. Every, every 10 time. years. Exactly. Yes. So we're on a downward spiral with our nervous systems. So, so basically supplements can help to support the nervous system. People who are chronically under stress will chew up more magnesium, more potassium, more B vitamins than the average person's. Their adrenal glands are more used on a daily basis because every day you're waiting to see what mood is my husband in and how am I going to exactly. feel. Exactly. Do you know what? I had a girlfriend and she used to say to me, oh, how's your day? And I said, oh, I had a mm-hmm. Bojua breakfast. Now, that Bojua was his last name and that made me, it was my joke. Yeah. The module breakfast was him causing a fight. For no reason, he would just do it because it was every six, five weeks he'd just explode. Yeah. So I, I, I so identify with you. And the good thing is that, the, well, unfortunately, there'll be a lot of women out there yeah. that will definitely identify Monica with your story. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about um, Monica's story here with Madonna Guy from New Leaf natural therapies get there and win and I walked past you again last <laughs> week I'm just going to have to pop in aren't I you will you're listening to Bay of Health on Bay of Foundation and crisis